What? I knocked. See? <sighs> Yippee. Now you can turn around and leave. Not until you hear me out. Monica, <clears throat> if there are any updates on my condition, I'd like to hear them from my doctor. I don't want to hear you chiming in. It's not unusual for patients to react. Oh, way. Monica, please. Just because I have agreed to treatment doesn't mean I've lost control over my life. I will come back when the biopsy is scheduled. Until then, I am going on with that very life as if nothing's changed. You need support, Tracy. Monica, please. Trying to pretend that you're kind and solicitous is just ludicrous. Please do not embarrass either of us. You're not doing yourself any favors by isolating. I'm leaving. And you should do the same. You again? I brought you your anti-seizure meds. Oh. Tracy, you have got to be diligent following these instructions. I'm not five. Then quit acting like it. Gee, you have got to get used to accepting help if you want to get the best out of this treatment. Monica, you probably have your fingers crossed for a terminal diagnosis. As many times as you have thrown me out of your precious house, I bet you can't wait until I join Alan and my parents in the crypt. Then you'll be done with all the quarter mains for good. I have put up with you for over 35 years, you bitch. And I'm not going to quit now. So you be as hateful as you want to be. I'm going to continue overseeing this. And if you don't like it, tough. What are you looking at? Leave me alone, Monica. I'm communing with my family. Daddy, mother, Alan. Even you, AJ. Do not think that you all can drag me down with you. Not you, mother. You you obviously made it upstairs. But the rest of you, are you, are you, are you so. Oh, what is that word? Bored with the afterlife that you need me to entertain you while you have another thing coming. Because I'm not ready. I'm not ready to die. I miss you. <laughs> yes, AJ. And you. It's lonely. All I have is Monica to snipe at. And she is a worthy opponent. But it's, it's not the same as when we all used to just shout over each other and, well, not you, Mother. Hey. I wish you were here, Mother, to hold my hand. I'm... I'm scared. I, I can feel these... Um, what did the doctor call them? Not tumors, not tumors, not tumors. Lesions. I can, I can feel these lesions growing in my brain i can i can i can hear them tick tick ticking my life away alan no. 
Now, the nurse will be here shortly to prep you for the biopsy. I don't have to do this. Yes, yes, you do. You're not going anywhere, Tracy, until we get some answers. Am I gonna die here? No, you are not going to die. Nobody is going to die today, especially not you. That is one unpleasant man, and that's coming from me. He is a pompous ass, but his medical reputation is stellar. If you were in my shoes, would you... Would you do this procedure with that doctor? Oh, it's Alice. Tell her I'm fine. She's allowed to be worried. Yes, Alice? Hey, Mom. Monica. Well, what did security say? Mom, I need to talk to you. Shh, shh. This is interesting. Oh. All right, uh, I'll be right there. Um, I have to run home for a bit. I got that. Why? What's it about? I'm sure it's nothing. So you worry about you, I'll worry about my house. Oh, your house. The one that Alan gave you. The house that's yours. Yes, that very house. So I will be back before you're even out of the procedure, okay? Don't worry. You being here is the least of my problems. Well, to answer your question, yes, I would let Dr. Mays perform that protocol. So will you go and get the damn biopsy done so we can get some real answers? <sighs> Do you know something I don't know? Many things, but not about this. So be good. I'll see you soon. <gasps> oh. Tracy? Oh. oh, Monica, I had a dream. I saw Alan. He was waiting for me. Tracy, that was just the medication talking. No, it's not. It's not. It's my subconscious sending me a message. I'm dying. Tracy, it was just a dream, and you have to stay positive. What was I thinking? I'm just having seizures and unexplained spots on my brain. But there's pudding, so it's not all bad. We don't even have a diagnosis yet, and whatever it is may very easily be treatable. And it may not be. It's one thing to be optimistic, Monica, and it's another to be naive. I have to be prepared for the worst, and so should you. Well, I'm not going to let you die. You may have to. Monica, if my next seizure leaves me unable to communicate and, and hooked up to machines, I will not be a vegetable. Do you understand me? And this is way too soon to have this talk. Monica, this is not a talk. This is an order in my health care directive. If I can't pull the plug, you have to. Please don't ask me to do that. You want me to pull the plug if you're incapable of doing it. There's no one else. Yes, there is. There's Dylan and there's Ned. I won't burden my sons. Monica, you're a doctor. You know how these things go. And I know you won't make it sentimental decision not about me because i don't care about you tracy you have been wrong about so many things all your life i'm really kind of glad to see that hasn't changed even now oh monica come on monica monica Is everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah, everything. Your, your mother's fine. Tracy's just being Tracy. I'm so sorry. I know that she can be very difficult. It's part of her charm, right? <laughs> what would I do without your gift of understatement? What would I do without you? I mean, you're the one that's keeping everybody grounded throughout this whole thing. And I know that my mother does not say it very often, but she does love you. Aunt Monica. Well, 
I don't exactly know when or how or why it happened, but somewhere along the line, I got to love her too. I don't want to lose. We won't. Monica, get your hands off Ned right now. Oh. Dylan. Why don't you go find Dr. Mays? He's got to have those test results back by now. I'll get your mother settled. Mom. Go find the doctor. Go on. Do you understand? I will honor your health care directive. great doctor now. Poof! He vanished without explanation. You're talking about the doctor who diagnosed my condition. And if you've lost track of him, that's on you. Would you explain to me why this woman is running this hospital? Excuse me? Surely we can round up enough Quartermain money and influence to get her fired before the next set of rounds. You would not dare. Watch me. Monica, we've wasted enough time with this glorified paper pusher. Go find Dr. Finn. Stat. You know, just when I start to think maybe I could get used to her, I realize just how much I can't stand her. Monica? Hmm. Thanks for getting Dr. Finn here. I'm just glad that he, he was available. I think this is the answer we've been looking for. You're not gonna kiss me again, are you? <laughs> no. I, I did that because I was scared. I'm not scared anymore. How are you feeling? Let's see. I just had another seizure and I'm about to go into surgery. However, you might think that you're finally going to get to live in that house my brother gave you all by yourself. <gasps> Not so fast. I plan on living in that house until Alice has to carry us both up the stairs. Well, I wouldn't have it any other way. Monica? Okay. Yeah, right here. You always do. Keep your hands off my jewelry. Don't worry. I'm not into costume pieces. You haven't seen the last of me. Being the most hard-headed woman in the world has certainly served you well this time. That's for sure. Monica. Yeah, are you, are you are you in pain? No. Are you sure? I want to tell you something. What? I love you. Wow, Mom, you must be on some pretty heavy painkillers. Actually, I think it's the anesthesia that's wearing off. Some patients aren't really themselves until it's completely out of their system. Monica, I should have told you before I went into surgery. Just in case. You mean the world to me. Well, thank you. We're just glad you're here to tell us now. I win, I win, I win, I win. That's the third game in a row you've won. I'm fairly sure I'm being hustled here. Well, I never said I couldn't play. You just assumed because I had surgery that I'm in a weakened condition, but nothing, absolutely nothing, can diminish my backgammon skill. Oh, now you tell me. Let me grab this. I'm waiting for this. 
She tests results. And? They're excellent. No indication of residual infestation. Oh, when can I vacate the premises? I think I can answer that. Monica, you better give me good news. Well, I talked to Dr. Monroe, and he has said that you can be released in a few days. <sighs> Can't come soon enough. Now, I know that you were going to want to scamper right over to ELQ now that the family has control over the company, but you have got to take it easy. You can't pretend that this never happened, Tracy. You have to come back to the hospital, you have to have periodic checkups, and it's not always going to be with Dr. Monroe. Well, I guess that means I'm going to be seeing you on a regular basis, and who knows? You might actually win a game one day. Actually, I'm sure there are several doctors here that can oversee your care. <laughs> you are such a sore loser. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? I was only accredited here during the duration of your treatment. Now that you're in recovery, I no longer have privileges at this hospital. I, I will not be staying in Port Charles. You can't go. I won't allow it. The Quartermans have poured millions of dollars into this hospital. It's not an accident that my mother and my father are the largest portraits on the memorial wall. Yes, the, and will you and please make a note that I will be doctor. traveling with my service animal, no, Roxy? No, I don't no, want to get to Gates, and I have to explain this all over again. Right okay, thank you. You've been very kind. So you really are going back to Minneapolis, huh? That I am. As you know, Tracy's being released today, and my work here is done. I wish you would stay. There's no place for me here, Dr. Quartermain. You are such a good doctor. You'd be such a valuable addition to this hospital. Not according to the Commandant. And as oh. long as she has the board at her back, my bags are packed and I am out. Well, I, you know, I have a feeling that there's a change in the air. What are you looking at? Back to work this instant. Oh, may I remind you, you no longer have command of the staff. Your reign at General Hospital is over. When I became chief of staff, I found a hospital suffering grievous mismanagement and a deficit of creative thinking. I instituted sweeping efficiencies and brought the staff to heel. No, not quite. Complaints to HR are at an all-time high. <gasps> Irrelevant whining. This hospital is thriving! And what do I get? Shown the door! <laughs> oh, don't be so melodramatic. Yes, you have been relieved of your duties as chief of staff. However, the board does acknowledge your contribution as a doctor. And there is an offer on the table for you to remain on staff. Oh, <clears throat> sorry, I just threw a little in my mouth. You're kidding, right? A demotion is as good as a dismissal. What assurances do I have that the new chief will honor the offer? I don't know. Let's ask her. Monica. Do you want Dr. Obrecht to stay on now that you're running the hospital? Dr. Quartermain. Yes. Receive some congratulations are in order. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for your vote. Oh, I didn't vote for you. I was part of the faction that opposed your reinstatement. We were, however, shouted down. I hope you prove me wrong. You the force behind getting me my job back? If I say yes, are you gonna make a big fuss over it? Possibly. Answer's no. 